Kevin Ricori, Ear and Tool, the Outer Banks Visitors Bureau, our tourism office here. Yeah. We released some powerful statewide statistics today indicating the health of our statewide tourism industry. What role do you think the Outer Banks plays in that economic mix? Well, right now, this is about to be the peak season for travel and tourism throughout North Carolina, and the Outer Banks leads the, leads the way. And because this is the entree point for the huge population shift coming uh, to this area. I mean, you literally go from, what, 30-some thousand people to a quarter of a million people spending money here in North Carolina. And that money creates jobs, that money helps provide money for our infrastructure and for our education. So the continued growth of economic development uh, here in the Outer Banks is extremely important to North Carolina's economic future. And uh, this is the entree point. That's why we're also putting so much emphasis ensuring that we have the, the right roads and bridges to get people in and out. Uh, not just during travel and tourism season, but also during potential storms and hurricanes. Um, so it's a three-pronged approach, protecting our environment, the quality of life, continuing economic uh, uh, growth, and also making sure that we have the infrastructure available to uh, get people in and out of these crucial travel and tourism destinations, not just for the Carolinas, but for the nation and the world. And, uh, and I'm telling you, the statistics speak for themselves. Because we had growth last year in travel and tourism, including Dare County, that put more money in the government coffers, which will help provide money for school teachers, which are also needed in Dare County in this entire region.